You gotta cut the onions to small pieces before we fry it. So we're gonna need garlic, like half a head, and about six or seven tomatoes. The garlic I already chopped in and I added it together with the onions that I'm gonna start frying right now. Took a very big, very large pan. I put some oil, not too much, I'm not making french fries. And I'm taking all the onions, I'm gonna put it in with the garlic, mix it up and let it fry on a small fire to start with while I'm cutting the tomatoes and getting ready. Speed up the process of the tomatoes, we're gonna use this tool. So that's gonna be much easier. Voila, we have tomatoes. Now when we have all the tomatoes cut off, we're gonna take tomato sauce, add this to this whole thing. So I added the tomato sauce and I mix it all up. Then you take salt and you add some salt. Pepper, red. Add as much as you like. Gotta make it spicy. And then black pepper. Also spicy. We're also gonna add oil, not too much. And start mixing the whole thing. So now I put it on high fire, high flame, because I need the onions to become golden brown. And if I give it on a small fire, it's gonna take forever. Mixing is necessary. And to try to keep it even, and every couple of minutes to continue until we get to the final. So now ready, the golden brown. We're gonna take all that thing, we're gonna pour it right on top of it, and then mix it. To be important. Mixing is done. And now this is the way it is, and it gotta be covered for about five minutes or ten minutes, depends how hot you want it. On medium fire, we do the fire and we'll let it cook. If you need to add water, it, it has been about ten minutes on small to medium fire. I'm gonna remove the cap, and we won't need it now for some time what's important now is for all this juice underneath to disappear, it's just too wet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase the fire and let it dry up a little. So now when it looks like it's dry and we can tell that it's kind of dry, we need to add eggs. This is how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some space, let's say eight eggs, one. Then we start. Egg number one goes here. We gotta make sure we do not break the eggs. If they break and mix with this thing, it's never gonna be tasty. And so we're gonna put eight eggs in here. Oh, we added the eggs and we don't wanna make it too shy, so we're gonna add some salt. And again, some pepper, red pepper, and some black pepper. And now, we're going to cover it a little bit to get it cooked a little better. When it looks like it's ready, I'm going to remove the cap, and we have a shakshuka ready, homemade.